Hello, my name is Dave Gonzalez, and I am the product manager for Guild Guitars. We're here today to talk to you a little bit about um, the Guild D40 Bluegrass Jubilee. The D40 Bluegrass Jubilee is a classic Guild Dreadnought model. And Guild didn't uh, introduce Dreadnought models into its acoustic line until the 60s. These were introduced in 1963. This model, the D40, and its sister, the uh, D50, were introduced at the same time. One of the things that they wanted to try to do with the Dreadnought guitars is bring out a Dreadnought guitar that was an incredibly balanced guitar. Dreadnoughts historically and sometimes typically tend to be guitars that may be a little bass heavy, sometimes some of the articulation gets lost. The very loud guitar is meant for great projection uh, to keep up with uh, you know, other players in the band and, and whatnot. But um, what Guild really set out to do was build Dreadnought guitars that were incredibly balanced across the entire spectrum of the, of the strings, meaning that you get equal response and volume and projection out of your bass notes as well as your treble notes. Where you can hear every note of that chord. It's not more bass than it is treble, it's not more mids than it is anything else. Commonly these guitars are referred to as flat top guitars, but the tops are not flat on these instruments. They actually have a radius to them. Um, and how that radius, you know, how tight or, or flat that radius is can, can make a big difference in the way the guitar sounds. Um, with Guild guitars, we use a 30-foot top radius on our instruments. And what that brings to the table in terms of sound is greater projection, greater volume out of the instrument, and a really great presence in the guitar as well. Some of the other great features of the D40 Bluegrass Jubilee, besides the red spruce top and the genuine mahogany back and sides, is the fact that it has a pure nitrocellulose lacquer finish. This is a true traditional nitro lacquer finish. It's not a blended finish where we have a, a, some sort of other type of base coat underneath it. So it's pure lacquer all the way through. A lot of uh, builders have abandoned that process over the years in favor of finishes that dry faster or finishes that are easier to work with. It is time consuming to do nitro lacquer finishes, um, but we feel it's important. It uh, really helps the guitars to breathe. And it's not only is it a beautiful finish, it looks great, but it brings a certain element to the instrument that um, gives it its unique uh, tonal characteristics as well and helps the instrument, as we said, breathe. Um, so that's a great benefit of nitro lacquer. When I say bone components, I'm talking about the bone nut and saddle and also bone bridge pins. Commonly when um, someone has an acoustic guitar that doesn't have bone appointments on it, say it has a plastic nut and a plastic saddle and bridge pins. One of the most common upgrades to make is to replace those with bone or something like uh, mammoth ivory or other things of that nature. Your nut and your saddle are transmitting a lot of that energy that's being created by the string, so that's enhancing the sound. So the materials have to be very pure and able to transfer that sound energy. These guitars are very responsive, they're very lightweight, and they're uh, really fun to play. One of the features of this guitar is, is the bracing. The bracing is very thin and very light with Adirondack spruce bracing. It really allows the voice of this instrument to open up and jump out at you. And especially on this particular guitar, the combination of mahogany and Adirondack red spruce top with the red spruce bracing really makes a very loud, responsive instrument. <laughs> all the notes will jump right out at you. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice feature of this instrument uh, to be used in a bluegrass band or with a singer-songwriter especially. If you're, it's a great instrument to play to accompany yourself singing. These are medium gauge strings on this instrument for rhythm instrument especially, playing rhythm guitar. You, you want a nice medium gauge string to really help the instrument project. This guitar, really the way it's, it's been designed, uh, it does have a very even sound from string to string and from positions on the neck, uh, it's real clear, real clean, and very even all over. The neck feels really nice on these guitars. It's not too big, it's not too small. Uh, it, it's got a nice nut width, um, and they're very comfortable for playing. Uh, you can play a long time and, and not be fatigued. And also the, the mass of the headstock in relationship to the, the mass of the neck really creates a nice, clear tone. 
The size has something to do with it, but it's more the mass, the, the ratio of mass to the, to the other parts of the instrument. The headstock has a lot to do with the sound of an instrument. Um, it, it, the resonance in this area creates um, a relationship with the other parts of the guitar that are pretty important, actually.